Okay, so let's talk to Lewis now. Yes, Nancy. Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. Did Lizzie ever wear men's clothing? <laughs> I'm sure she played some roles where she had to dress as a man. But she was quite an elegant woman, quite fashionable for her time. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? You need to say you read it in the magazine, because if you say it, it's the book, he gets... Well, here's what happens when you say in the book. I came across it in a book. No doubt the book I have locked in my briefcase. I thought someone had been in there. I think I'll need to have a word with Rose about this. Nancy, I'm ashamed of you. Everyone in this house expects some degree of privacy, and you have obviously violated that trust. Your behavior is completely unacceptable. No arguments. I cannot stand to have someone so inconsiderate in my house. I've arranged for Abby to drop you off at the airport. I'm sorry it has to work out this way. Goodbye. Okay, so, yeah. So, don't say you came across it in a book. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? I read about it in a magazine. I see. As I recall, it means house of great books. After the great earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses gumbo fu. Hmm. I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Do -do -do -do. Okay. So, um, now that you've talked to everybody, the thing what you do now is to uh, go see Rose. Because talking to everybody about Gumbo Fu, actually, I think you might need to talk to Emily one more time about Gumbo Fu. I think so. Let's see. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy. Listen, my dear, I'm off to a photo shoot in Mexico, even though I don't know why they're sending me down there again. I just got back a couple of months ago, but who knows what goes on in my editor's mind, always thinking of new ways to make my life miserable. <laughs> Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I'll find out what that phrase means before I go, okay? Okay, good luck. Okay, so uh, you needed to talk to Emily one more time. Let's see if Bess and George have anything fun to say. So, so, since this is probably the last time I'll use the phone. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hello, what's new? Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. What in the world is gumbo foo? You'll need to ask around to find that out. I should get oh. going. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Okay, never mind. Talking to Bess and George was a silly idea. Oh, which is lame. I like Bess and George. So, now that you've talked to everybody about gumbo foo, and uh, Emily has promised to give you the uh, translation when you go see Rose. I'm glad you dropped by. You know, I wanted to tell you that you'll be alone in the house for a while. Everyone is going to the Winter Festival, and Charlie's studying for finals. I also took down one of the tapestries in your room for dry cleaning, and what was the other thing? Oh, a messenger dropped off a letter for you. I put it in your room. Hmm, okay. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. So, now that you've talked to everybody about Goombo Fu and you talked to Rose, apparently now everybody leaves. And Nancy's going to be alone in the house. Until the rest of the game. Ooh, spooky. Nobody's around, see, Abby? Hello. Oh. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Ta-ta for now. Oh, I thought nobody was supposed to be around. Um, so... Sorry about that, folks. In any case, let's pick up the letter from Emily. That tells us what Goombo Fu is. Here it is. I'm Nancy. I'm sorry I couldn't drop this off myself. But I'm off the door for a month-long photo shoot in Mexico. I spoke with my friend about Goombo Fu, and she told me it means gold treasure mansion. She wrote the Chinese symbols below. Gold treasure mansion. Hasta luego, Emily. Aw, well that's cool. And now that the uh, tapestry here is gone, we get a puzzle. 
See, it's a zodiac puzzle. It has all the zodiac symbols from Abby's book in her room. And the note from uh, uh, E to Valdez said you had to put them in the proper order, which is rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and boar. And this is the reason you've been collecting all those uh, Chinese symbols. And each symbol stands for a specific word, and each of the words is on the tapestry in Nancy's room, so you've got to click all of them in order. So it's a uh, child, this is child, and then next is uh, this one, so let's move it over. Huh? Okay, and then third is this crazy looking thing here. Let's move it on up. Fourth is uh, this one. Okay. And then fifth is I, which is this one. Six is what's number six? Six is this one. That was easy. Seven is moon. Moon, moon, and where's moon? This one's moon. Moon. Then king. Okay. And um, where's the next one? Um. Ah, the next one is the one that's three lines. Okay, that's nine. And then ten is gold. Which is this one with the, uh... Okay, so where is it? There we go. Ah! Hmm! Sorry, I keep... Ah, I confuse myself. Where's gold? Where's gold? Yeah, gold. Yay! I solved the puzzle. I solved the puzzle. Yeah, yeah.